So this is the second episode of these uh, technical features. I'm here with Dan Hayes from White House Machine Tools. Uh, you may have already seen published um, us talking about the reductions in cycle times and the reductions in downtimes using the brother technology, the BT30 machine over a BT40. Um, Dan, specifically in this episode, we're gonna talk about the space saving with these machines and how important it is and how small and compact brother machines are, why they make them like this, and how good this is for the uh, for the user in amongst all of the other uh, things we talk about with the efficiency of these machines. They're tiny, aren't they? Well, yeah, well that's it. Typically they are obviously highlighted on the uh, PowerPoint here. They're typically around about say 20 to 30 percent smaller than their um, the competition. So it just allows us to, uh, if, if a customer has the constraints in their workshop, it allows us to squeeze a machine in and then you get an extra spindle. And, and how often do you go in places where you know people are looking for new factories, they're looking to find extra space for a machine, and you, yet you might see a few machines, you know, a few spindles that, that are taking up a, a huge area, and you think to yourself, I could fit four or five spindles in that same in that same space. Well, it's often. Um, I suppose it's more so with the horizontals. So they are obviously big with the horizontal spindle. You normally get a, a big envelope on the back of the machine not so considered because only the work envelope tends to be quite small but our S series machines and U series machines it's just the clever configuration allows us to reduce that footprint but maximizing that working envelope. And important to stress in this feature as well is your machines for those that are watching may have thought previously that you just do the, the, the VMC it's the twin pallet vertical machining center but it's not is it? Brother are invest investing a lot in the advancements of their of the machines within the range so how, how how, how broad is it now? Yeah, so it's expanding. Uh, the H series is a is a new release to Brother. Uh, they're obviously looking at the the uh, the casting elements of components, uh, standing them on tombstones. So obviously they're they're, they're interested in the uh, the growth of the market and making sure that they capitalise on each area with all the uh, Brother series machines. And that horizontal you talk about is one of um, a few new machines in the range in the last few years. But that's really compact for a horizontal, isn't it? You look at it and you wouldn't notice too much different to, say, the M300 that we see behind us, which is a five-axis uh, mill turn machine. Yeah, but that's it. It's a similar size. But like, obviously, you, would, uh, you were pointing out the M300. Um, that, that footprint, the M300, you've got an X stroke of 300, but it's a very, very small machine especially in the width um, so it allows you to actually fit them in a, in, a, in a row type style and then get many of them. And what are the other advantages to having smaller machines and, and somebody that might be playing devil's advocate here might say okay well you, you're not going to have as much weight in this machine you're not going to have the same stability that I might have with a machine that's, that's heavier. How do you tackle those arguments because there's one thing for it being small but you know how capable is it so uh, there's obviously always limitations to everything, um, but the limitations are really the, the component sizes. Most, uh, most manufacturers, they're going to be uh, components that you're able to lift effectively, uh, components that are transported around the workshop easily, and they're obviously more, uh, the brothers are more than capable for those, uh, those type of components. So uh, we're just talking about uh, subcon manufacturing, uh, block, uh, small objects, prismatic uh, components, etc. And they're just it's bread and butter for the actual portfolio. And I know every machine in the range is all about saving space and uh, you know adding productivity to companies. But how many models are there now within the brother portfolio? Yeah, there's a an, uh, there's an, uh, good amount to suit a, a range of components. Uh, we've got the U, the R, the, the M series machines, the S series. So there's a uh, machine to suit uh, the uh, customer requirements. And this would be vertical machining centers, twin pallets, five axis mill turn, uh, and also the horizontal that you talk yeah, about. Yeah. So pretty much something for every milling and turning application. Yeah, they're, co they're, consistently, they're consistently expanding. They're keeping an eye on the market. Uh, and making sure that there is a machine suited for every aspect essentially. 